Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about Colin Big Coley BT, who was in his day known as the hardest man in Glasgow. Uh, he was feared and respected in equal measure by not only criminals, but also by the police because of his sheer size and the strength that he, he possessed. So Colin Big Coley BT really sounded like my type of man. And not only was he hard with his fists, but he always helped the underdog and he didn't like seeing people get being bullied and he would always jump in and help them. He also couldn't stand noisy and aggressive people. Uh, he was always a gentleman, especially around women, never swore. Now, by no means was he a saint and he himself would admit that. Um, he got into numerous fights. He was arrested numerous times. A lot of times he was arrested for fighting with the police, something which I'm, I've been guilty of myself in the past. So I understand that side, side of it. He was that much of a force and that strong that the police, when they came for him, they'd always come with a minimum of eight men. And uh, they've even broken their truncheons whilst he was resisting arrest. They've hit him with truncheons and snapped, snapped the truncheons on him. He was, that, he was that tough. He was very well known in, in Glasgow. He was from the Partick area. Uh, Billy Connolly once described him as an escapee from Hollywood but due to his good looks, his size, uh, his charisma and his dark complexion. Colin Beatty was not involved in the criminal world. He was actually a businessman. He had demolition companies, construction companies, and he ran fruit and veg um, stalls as well. So although he, although he wasn't a criminal, he still did get arrested, um, as I said, for mainly for fighting with the police. And he was actually arrested for a murder charge once when he killed a man with a single punch. This was in the West End Ballroom at St. George Cross. It said in the trial that the power of Colin Beatty's punch is what gave Francis Whitelaw a brain hemorrhage and tragically lost his life. So he was on a murder he was on a murder trial for that. Well that highlights the dangers of street fight and I always try and persuade people to avoid getting into street fights and walk away if possible. One punch like that and someone could die, hit their head on the floor. I know many people that have uh, been charged with murder for, for one punch, killing someone with one punch. Legendary criminal lawyer Joe Beltrami uh, once said that Colin Beatty was his favourite client and he really really liked Colin. In his best-selling book Tales of the Suspected, Joe de describes Colin as, as one of his favourite clients and he said to his knowledge Colin had never been involved in any dishonesty or anything untoward involving weapons and was a man of integrity. This is also echoed by everyone that knew Colin including his son Colin Jr who said a man of my dad's size and strength didn't need to use weapons, he, he was good enough with his fists. Joe Beltrami also said that Colin would often feel compelled to help out uh, people, even sometimes strangers, if he felt that they were getting bullied or they were less equipped to, to handle themselves, he would jump in and help them, even at the risk of himself being arrested, which happened on many occasions. So he would, he would put himself in trouble to help others, which I respect that as well. I really respect that about him. Joe Beltrami also said that it never ceased to amaze him how Colin hardly had any scars from all the battles that he'd been in and he also said true hard men do not enjoy taking liberties with people which I also I do agree with that as well. In 1979 Colin Beatty was arrested after armed police raided the Stoker bar in Glasgow. They were actually looking for Kenneth Kansas Kelly who was wanted for a shooting in another bar and uh, Beatty then got involved and had a subsequent scuffle with the police and he actually floored one of the police and they hit him with truncheons again, broke the truncheons on him again. I have a good friend called Jez Love from Corby and uh, Jez's mum Patsy grew up in Partick in the 1930s with Colin Beatty. And uh, she always reminisced about how, how much of a gentleman he was and how he was by far the hardest man in Glasgow. Uh, she really was really fond of him. Uh, Patsy and her very good friend, Mrs. Ferris, who is the mother of legendary figure Paul Ferris, bumped into Big Coley again in 1998 in the Ettrick Bar in Partick. And Big Coley was delighted to see Patsy again, his childhood friend from, from the 1930s and 40s. And uh, he, he was delighted to meet Mrs. Ferris as well. And Jez has kindly sent me a photograph of them all in that reunion. I'll put that photo up. And he treated them both like queens for the day. And they were in really safe hands. He's, and he was such a gentleman. Uh, and he looked after them for the day. So that was lovely. Big Coley sadly passed away in 2015 at the age of 85. The amount of love and respect for him was clear with 
over 500 people at his funeral, which goes to show how respected he was and uh, how loved he was. So there we have Colin Big Coley Beatty, a true legend, a true hard man, a man with morals, a man with honour, a man with integrity, a man of principles, and uh, a true legend. Now, I'm going to be doing more of these sort of uh, fighter profiles from different areas. Uh, I've, this is my second one in Scotland. So anyone with any names they want me to do a video about, uh, please leave it in the comment section. And I'm, I'm going to do it everywhere, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, England, even all, all around the world. So anywhere in the world, if you've got a name that I can do a bit of research on and get a video going, please leave it in the comments. And yeah, thank you to all my subscribers, the new and old ones, thank you all. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and the shares. Really helps push the videos out, I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you like the video, and all the best, catch up soon, thank you.